What's good, YouTube? We have the first place from Switzerland Nationals. Over 200 duelists, I do believe. It looks like 247 duelists. And after top cut into top 16, Filippo Pura managed to get 15th and then duel all of his way to first place with True King Dino Yangzings. Let's get into the deck list and then a lengthy tournament report. We've got the one Conductor Tyranno, one copy of Agni Mazad, three copies of Lithosagem, one copy of Barastos, one Dogeron, one Suwani, three copies of Miscellaneous Source, three Overraptors, a main deck Retaliating Seed, one copy of Beyond, two copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, one Ghost Ogre, three Baby Sarasaurus, two Petita Radon, one Maxi, one Bixi, two copies of Jirak Aeolo, because remember in this deck, you're getting the Dinglong by Overaptor, Sin Miscellaneous Source, Bring Out Aeolo, and Synchro Summon. That also does allow, if you have this in hand, to have two dinosaurs in Graveyard. Two Chi Wins, one copy of Instant Fusion, one Yangxing Path, three Fossil Dig, one Dark Hole, very synergetic with the deck, three Terraforming, two Cosmic Cyclone, three copies of Dragonic Diagram, and nine Pillars of Yangxing. We've got Gamma Seal, Kumungus, two Flying Seas, one Ghost Ogre, two Drone Lockbirds, another Dark Hole, an Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, two Forbidden Chalice, two Xyz Encore, and two Dimensional Barriers. We, in the extra, we've got Norden still here, one Zulkin, one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, one Baxia, one Yazzie, a copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon, TG Hyper Librarian, two copies of Denglong, a Herald of the Arclight, one True King of All Calamities, one Lagia and one Dolka, one Tornado Dragon, and that ever important Abyss Dweller. So, he says, I believe, at first about his deck, I decided to play this version because I really like the Yangzing archetype and I didn't like the consistency of the deck without them too much, True King Dependence, and Weak Hand Traps. Although sometimes Yangzings mean more brick hands, they truly come in handy for the late game, shout out to Yangzing Path, that made me win a lot of duels, or a lot of lost causes. The fact that Overraptor alone is a one card Denglong, which means two negations or one negation and a second Denglong to add Yangzing Path, made the deck a lot more consistent. Having Miscellaneous Source with the Overraptor makes an Ultimate Conductor Tyranno paired with a Denglong, adding another great start as the Dragonic plus Baby combo. The usual combo, Diagram plus Baby slash Overraptor in this deck is different too. When you would usually make True King of All Disasters, which is Calamities, with Dinglong, I opted to go into Ultimaya to bring out a Yang Zing for Dinglong, making nine pillars live. The final board was then composed of Ultimaya, Crystal Wing, Lagia slash Dolka, so and or, or I guess just or, a Yang Zing monster, and nine pillars. If in the starting hand there was a Chi Win, I could have summoned Ancient Fairy Dragon with Ultimaya effect, adding a new Dragonic Diagram and summoning Chi Win from hand to make Crystal Wing. This allowed a negation after nine pillars was activated in the form of Herald of the Arclight or a recovery and making a second Denglong to search path. When you are going second, you should also do a different kind of combo with the same cards. With Denglong, instead of adding nine pillars, you add Path to Send Beyond to Grave, Current board, Overraptor, True King, Litho, Denglong, and Miscellaneous Horse plus Babies and Grave, Synchro Yazi with Denglong plus Overraptor, and summon a Yang Zing to pop with Yazi's effect. Summon Chi Win from the popped Yang Zing and Synchro Boxia with Yazi plus Chi Win, shuffling two cards with his effect and bringing back Overraptor, destroying Litho. Litho's effect to reborn Yazi. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Miscellaneous Horse effect to summon another Miscellaneous Horse results in Overraptor, Miscellaneous Horse, Yazi, Baxia, 8,000 plus damage, minus three cards to the opponent, and Yang Zing Path, live in hand. That is really cool. So he's using Lithosagen's effect to be able to uh, reborn uh, one non-Earthworm type monster for his Yazi, which is also a worm. That's, that's really synergetic and really cool. For the tournament report, day one, six, one, and one. Round 1 versus Zodiacs, I lost 1-2. to two. This round was pretty fast because I bricked both of the first and third game, starting the first round 
with four babies and the third one with three fossil digs, two over raptors, and a miscellaneous horse and my opponent started with a plus five zoo combo. So starting out with an L. Round two versus True King Dinos, one, two, one. Won the dice roll and started with Dinglong, Nine Pillars, and Ultimate Conductor Tyranno that destroyed a Litho in my hand during my opponent's turn, thus reborning Dinglong, allowing me to search for path and OTK the turn after. Second game, he starts with a big combo and I scoop. Third game, I start with my big combo and he scoops it up. Round three versus Zodiac, one, two, one. Nothing particular happened here. Both of us made the usual combos and we both had hand traps to stop each other. But in the end, a single Dinglong was enough to carry the late game. Round 4 versus True King Dinos 1-2-0. He starts the game summoning Overraptor to search another Overraptor. I start with Overraptor 2, but in my case it's a little stronger. Bless Dinglong. Game 2, he starts with a big combo, but I had a Max C. He kept going, making me draw 13 cards and ending his field with the FD Plus Dweller. Here, both my XC's Encore came to the rescue and won me the game single-handedly. Round 5 versus Predaplant Zoo Grass, I won 2-1. Game 1, he starts with a weak zoo combo and was not enough to stop my play. Game 2, he opened the main combos of his deck, making Amaterasu plus Trident plus Dweller with Snow in the Graveyard and Hand Traps to add back. Game 3, I start with Dinglong that allowed me to negate Barrage to summon Herald to prevent him from activating the grass in his hand due to the macro-like effect. The game went on for long, but... In the end, I managed to spin his fairy tales back with Baxia, ending the game. I just wanted to note that this is a really cool tech that we haven't seen in a long time either. Round 6 is versus Zodiac True Draco, a draw. Game 1 went on for 30 minutes and we tried to manage every resource we had within our reach. Game 2 was quick enough, he started with a zoo combo plus masterpiece. Time ended when we were siding for the third game, resulting in the draw. Round 7 versus Zodiac, I won 2-0. Game 1, I won the dice roll and I would started with the combo. Game 2, he starts with a plus 2 zoo combo, ending in Drantia, Emerald, and Dweller. Fortunately, I started with XC's Encore on his Dweller, allowing me to then overcome the Dryden and Ghost Ogre to win. Can this not be responded to either? Is that one of its effects? Ah! Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation, and as turn player, I assume you get priority. Nice! I, I assume that's how it works. Tell me in the comment section down below if that's correct. I believe turn player has, the in any phase, the uh, right to start the first chain. And uh, with that, XZ's Encore could activate before Dweller could ever get a chance to shotgun. That is pretty darn cool. Round 8 versus Paleo Grass, 1-2-1. One, one. Game 1, I didn't really expect to find Paleo as he started with Totally Awesome plus 3 sets, resulting in an easy win for him. Game 2 made a Dinglong plus Ultimaya to Zulkin, and he scooped the turn after. Game 3, he starts with 5 back rows, but only 2 of them were relevant, warning Dimensional Barrier as I started with Diagram plus Baby, and he had no good responses for them. This allowed me to go into Yazi Baxia and clear his board in OTK him. Day 2, Top 16 versus Zodiac True Draco, 1 2 0. I started with my combo, but he had Maxi, so I made a Dinglong, thus making him draw only two cards. <laughs> the turn after he tries the combo, but I had Maxi, also surprisingly, he took the challenge like a man and kept going to try to OTK me. Ghost Ash on his diagram stopped the plan, and next turn I was able to uh, use my 20 cards in hand to win. Game 2, he kind of bricks. He resisted with Barrier plus Strike, but I drew into Tyranno to sweep what was remaining of his board. Top 8 versus Zodiac, 1-2-1. One, one. Game 1, he starts with a decent combo and I brick. Game 2, I normal summoned Retaliating C and summoned a Aeolo with Miscellaneous Horse, resulting in a Dinglong plus a Maxi Search. And after that Yangzing Path, it made me draw into my combo pieces the turns after. That is such a cool play! <laughs> <laughs> All right, game three, he opens Ceratops, and I had Flying C. He then passes the turn, leaving the field open for an OTK. Top four, semifinals versus Zodiac True Draco 1 2 0, probably the most anticlimactic semifinals ever. Opponent started both games, setting a single bathic row and passing. I felt kind of bad. Finals versus Demise True Draco 1 2 1. Starting second, looking at my starting hand that contained Maxi and expecting another Zoo variant, I was kind of relieved. Little did I know, with a pot of duality and a pot of desires and a demise, were all coming right after. Game 2, I started with the alternative combo, leaving Denglong, Litho, Baby Sarasaurus, and Yang Zing on the field to minimize loss in resources as the true Draco spell and traps really hurt me. 
although he starts with a Desires plus Demise, uh, the board resisted and Yazi on the diagram plus Ghost Ogre on the next one won me the game. Game 3 started tributing a Dynamite Knight and setting two back rows with Masterpiece in hand. A Kaiju on his Dynamite sealed the game as the set dimensional barrier was not enough to stop me to establish at least one Logia or Denglong. Shoutouts to Denglong and my friends that participated with me in particular. One of them that played the deck list and helped me building and playtesting it. So there you have it. Filippo Pura. <laughs> or I guess this is Filippo Pura. Managed to take Yangzing, Dinosaur, True Kings. No zoo card in sight. Really well built. Some really cool plays that he described. Some really nice synergy and some really nice choices. And win the Swiss Nationals of 200 and 47 people thanks for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more first place national deck profiles